Phantom Blade Zero was recently announced during the PlayStation Showcase, and it received its first trailer as well, which really caught my eye. So I wanted to go and find out everything I could about the game and what is known so far, so let's discuss everything that we know about this new and exciting game, Phantom Blade Zero. Yes. Let's kill him with time. Phantom Blade Zero is being developed on the Unreal Engine 5 by development studio S-Game. The game is an action RPG set in a samurai-inspired semi-open world known as the Phantom World, which is described as a place where many kinds of power converge. S-Game Studios founder Soulframe Liang described the game's world in a PlayStation blog post. Phantom Blade Zero unfolds in a semi-open world consisting of multiple large maps filled with diverse handcrafted activities. The game is described as a quote, spiritual rebirth of the Rainblood games, which first began as an indie game, Rainblood Town of Death, all the way back in 2010. The Rainblood and eventual Phantom Blade games are series from S Game that were never released outside of China. So it'll be interesting to see how their game resonates in the Western market. While story details are limited so far, we do have a good idea of the overall arc of the game. Within the game, you will play as an elite assassin known as Soul who serves a powerful organization known only as the Order. After Soul is framed for the murder of the group's leader, they are gravely injured in a manhunt, then rescued by a mystic healer who provides them with a cure. However, it will only last for 66 days. During the trailer, we hear the voiceover ask Soul twice what their plan is, knowing that they only have 66 days to live. What's your plan? Knowing you have only 66 days to live. Get my heart back. Throughout the game, Soul will be looking to take revenge on the Order, as they must, quote, fight against powerful foes and inhuman monstrosities, all while seeking out the mastermind behind it all before his time runs out. S Games founder stated that the game gained inspiration from a variety of sources, from Chinese novels to Bruce Lee and John Wick films to create what they are calling, quote, Kung Fu Punk. The game is said to be an interesting mixture of Chinese kung fu and steampunk machinery. The game's third-person gameplay style has been described as, quote, bleak and punishing. Upon the game's announcement, it has immediately gained some comparisons to Sekiro. However, it appears to be different from a typical Souls-like based on the gameplay. From the trailer, we can see that the gameplay is very frantic and fast-paced. There appears to be some parkour and platforming elements that combine into exciting aerial attacks. And you're also probably going to need to use frequent parries and counters during combat to defeat your enemies, which could get quite hectic when facing multiple enemies at one time. As you defeat enemies and complete challenges, you will be rewarded with, quote, weapons, armor, artifacts, skills, and other ways to customize or progress your character. The game currently doesn't have a release date, but it's being developed for PlayStation 5 and PC. I, for one, am excited to see more from this game as time goes on. Be sure and let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. And if you're new and enjoyed the video, be sure and subscribe.